Hi, my name is Matthew Rumpel, and I'm here to demonstrate the magic milk experiment. So what you need for this experiment is Q-tips, a large container, a large flat container, food coloring, um, dish soap, we have Dawn Thai dragon fruit, and milk or half and half. And we are using half and half for this experiment. So. First, you take your half and half and you pour it into the container. So you want to make sure that the half and half covers the entire bottom of the container. Just like that. You just want a thin layer of the half and half or the milk if you're using milk. And then what you want to do is you want to take the food coloring and you want to pour um, drops of food coloring into the half and half. So I'm going to do that now. Put some red here, put some purple, oh, what is this, blue? Cool. Great. And then we are going to put the soap in. Okay, so then you take the Q-tip and you put it into the soap, swirl it around in there, and then you gently want to put the Q-tip into the container. So watch what happens. It makes a nice little flower or pinwheel. Do you see that? All the food coloring is spreading to the outer edge of the container. We can swirl this around a little more. Look at that. Look at the cool design that we're making. Great, now my lab partner, Shadana, will explain to you why this crazy stuff happens. My name is Sadhana Verma. My partner just explained what happened inside the food color experiment. He showed you the food color experiment, swelling action of the colors on the surface of the milk. Now I'm gonna show you what is the scientific reason or chemistry behind the swelling action of the motion on the surface of the milk. We all know that the milk has the three components. So today we have the, the molecules are look like the milk has the fat molecules, the water molecules, fat molecules, and the protein molecules. It has a two polar and a non-polar molecules, positive and the negative charges. Same, the fat molecules have no charge, while the protein molecules have the complex structures containing the positive and the negative ions. What happened when we put the detergent molecule, the detergent has the two ends, one end is polar and the other end is non-polar, right? So what happened, and also act as a degreaser. All right, so what happened when we put the detergent molecule on the surface of the milk, the detergent molecules act as a degreaser and it attack or attracts the fat molecules and it covers the surface of um, fat molecules you know it's covering so what happened in this case um, when the detergent molecules uh, you know create the bonding between the two molecules it attracts and positive and the negative ion of the detergent molecules are uh, creating the bonds between the two molecules same here the the non-polar part of the detergent molecules attach or attract with the uh, fat molecule. Same here, the protein molecules, the um, positive charge attract with the negative charge and it creates the bonding between the fat molecules, protein molecules and the water molecules. Uh, so what happened in this case, when we put the detergent molecule on the surface of the milk, so it at non-polar molecules attach with the uh, polar molecules and polar molecules attach with the non-polar and it disrupt the surface tension Due to the disruption of the surface tension, it creates the swelling action or the motion of the on the surface of the milk. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.